I guarantee you, wallahi, I, wallahi, I, wallahi, I, boy, if you Did y'all know that boxing fans and boxing fanboys actually have a lot in common? You see, they both know the truth, but only one actually tells the truth. You guys are some haters, bro. Andre Ward had a sit down with Devin Haney. Andre Ward being from Oakland, California, Devin Haney wishes he was from Oakland, California. I don't understand why. But on Twitter, Boxing and Barbecue post this picture. It says 63 and 0 combined on one podcast. Haney and Andre Ward. Stop the cap. Boxing and Barbecue, clearly a fanboy. But the boxing fans in the comments did not go for all that BS. This dude by the name of Boxing Fanatic said 62 and 1. And did not tell y'all this was going to happen. Devin Haney fanboys were going to pretend that Devin is really undefeated. I do not care what BoxRec says. Devin Haney took an L on April 20th, 2024. Never forget that date. Why you disrespecting mine? All I'm telling y'all Devin Haney fans is don't think that real boxing fans actually forgot that beating that Devin Haney took. You could try to make believe all you want. Devin Haney got that ass whooped in his last fight. And you should be ashamed of yourself. Devin ain't no undefeated. And until he gets back into that ring with Ryan, he ain't never gonna avenge that loss. Just know that. Until Devin Haney destroys Ryan Garcia in the same fashion, the man ain't never gonna be undefeated. Just know that. Not Devin Haney. And y'all know that Richardson Hitchens is back in training camp with Javante Tank Davis. The man needs an opponent. So what do you do when you need an opponent? You call out a man who just can't win a fight. Richardson Hitchens tweeted to George Cambosis talking about, Yo, George Cambosis, I'm looking for an opponent to work on a few new things on. Are you available in November? Southpaw always got some old shit he want to start. George Cambosis took this tale immediately. But when you think about it, George Cambosis knows deep down that he can no longer win a fight in the sport of boxing. The man knows he has damaged goods. He hit the lottery beating Teofimo Lopez. So George Cambosis said, hey, I thought you was dead after I bodied you last week. Stick to them 25K purses and your 300 attendants in the school hall. I come straight up to 140 and I might get a title shot. Might do another stadium fight. Come hold my bucket. Try some new things on that or lemos. Fuck you, dumbass nigga. I think that George Cambosis is kind of corny. I think the man ain't nothing but a lame. He knows he ain't at the elite level. Take a look at the man's profile pic. He got the profile pic of when he had the belt in a lucky win versus Teofimo Lopez. George Cambosis has not won a fight, in my opinion, since he beat Teofimo Lopez. He's a female. So Richards and Hitchens, you gets no credit for calling out Cambosis, bro. It's kind of like you praying on the weak. Richards and Hitchens, you don't get no type of stripes for trying to fight a man who just can't win a fight. What happened with Benavides? And this is the reason I cannot stand so many belts in the sport of boxing. All these sanctioning bodies making up their own rules just to get a percentage. The WBO have officially ordered Sebastian Fondora to defend his belts in a super welterweight world title unification fight versus Terrence Boyd Crawford next. Boyd Crawford got the WBA and the WBO interim belt. 30 days to make a deal, then the fight goes to purse bid. Southpaw TV, it's not, it, it's not. Three months ago, Errol Spence jumped into that ring to take a picture with Sebastian Fondora. Errol Spence announced his return to 154 against Sebastian Fondora. I thought they was gonna make the fight. Why the hell is the WBO trying to confuse the public? What is with these sanctioning bodies? One fight at a time, what the hell is y'all talking about? It doesn't matter. The question is, who do y'all think would do better against Slender Man? I'm talking about Sebastian Fondora. Who do y'all think would give Sebastian Fondora trouble between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford? In my personal opinion, I think that Boyd Crawford would give Sebastian Fondora more trouble. Errol Spence is damaged goods. I don't care what y'all say. Love Errol Spence, but at the same time, I don't think the man will ever be the same. I think that Sebastian Fondora would beat Errol Spence, in my opinion. Ass whooping. Do y'all want to know what I think will squash all this confusion at 154? I think to kill the confusion, y'all might as well just get straight to the point. Bud Crawford should fight Errol Spence again at 154. Errol Spence claims that the weight was too much for him to cut to at 147. Let's just get the rematch and kill all the confusion. Bud Crawford would put the nail in the coffin if he fought Errol Spence again. Ain't no way a rematch would be any different than that first fight. 
that would definitely kill the confusion at 154. Then the winner of that fight should get Slender Man. Fuck Canelo, bro. And y'all been following that corny back and forth between Caleb Plant and Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia fights at 140, maybe 147. Caleb Plant fights at 168. Ain't no way they ever gonna fight inside a boxing ring. Ryan Garcia was being very disrespectful to Caleb Plant wife. But Ryan Garcia tweeted out today, Trevor McCombie will pull off the W and upset over Caleb Plant. Who the hell is Caleb Plant? I, 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 stay, I, stay, I, I know the man meant Caleb Plant, but Ryan Garcia said to book it and to trust him on this. Ryan Garcia predictions have been coming right recently, but a prediction is just a prediction. I just can't see Mr. McCombie beating Caleb Plant. I'm not even a Caleb Plant fan, but I do think that Caleb Plant's gonna dog walk Mr. McCombie. Who the hell is Mr. McCombie anyway? <laughs> but back to that interview with Andre Ward and Devin Haney. Andre Ward is one of the few real ones from Oakland, California. So hopefully he does not ask Devin Haney any fanboy questions. That's right. Hopefully Andre Ward asks Devin Haney if he's ever gonna get back into that ring with Ryan Garcia again. Hopefully Andre Ward asks Devin Haney. Do you think the fans believe that you are really undefeated after your last fight? Do you expect the fans to believe that a man who got dropped five times in his last fight is really undefeated? Stop talking about that. Or is Andre Ward gonna tuck his tail and be true California? What I mean by that is Andre Ward gonna tell Devin, yo Devin, I wouldn't get back into that ring with Ryan Garcia if I was you. If I was you, I would never give Ryan Garcia a rematch. Things like that. Hopefully Andre Ward keeps it real in that interview because real boxing fans, not fanboys, want to know the truth. And you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> but let's all be real about the situation. You ain't never going to see Devin Henney back into that ring with Ryan Garcia because it's going to be the same result. Why are you disrespecting mine? Who's beating me? 